single shot. So, ah, here we go. All right, and welcome back. You're still with us right here on the hashtag Why in the Morning. I'm Brian Sakwa. This is the last conversation of the day, and we are delving into the impact of the Finance Bill 2024 to small and medium term enterprises. This includes the Mamambogas, the Mitumbas, the Hawkers. What are the implications of this bill, and what are some of those uh, clauses that directly touch? on your day-to-day -day business as an entrepreneur, even as a young entrepreneur who has aspiration of maybe one day starting that small business that should earn you a living. Now that this bill is right here on our table, how exactly is it affecting you? And maybe do you have voice when it comes to it being amended? And now the hashtag is reject not amend. How are we gonna do it? And I'm being joined live in studio by David Mongi. He is a, a Nairobi Senator 2022 aspirant. By the way, if you checked the people that were on ballot that time, this uh, gentleman was there. He's also a political commentator and a youth leader. And he's been very vocal on matters leadership. If you check him out, uh, your handle is at uh, Honorable David, David Mwangi. Yeah. You've really been from one media interview to another, uh, just trying to sensitize the youth <laughs> yeah. on this some, some, some topic. Yeah. So from what you've observed as well, uh, do you feel like it's going to have direct uh, effect on even that Mamamboga who still has a dream of Nataka Kuseta, mm -hmm. a, distri a Nyanya distribution center? Mm -hmm. Now, he talks it go through, it affects Biasharango, so there's no need to watch it when you home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Sako, for inviting me here. Okay. We need to, we have a few minutes, but at least we can talk and yes. agree on a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the finance bill, let's start there. Right. Let's start. Uh, most people didn't even know what is a finance bill. Mm -hmm. The finance bill uh, is for quote, it's for the Gen Z's who have ma made it work and people now know what it is. Yeah. It, it is not, people wouldn't have known. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think Mamamboga, even right now, they still understand what is a finance bill. Right. Because uh, they have been told the finance bill is bad, but there's, there's no translation. Yes. Yesterday we were fighting some guys and I was telling them, even the Bible has a, a, Turkana, a Turkana translation, my brother. Mm -hmm. The constitution of Kenya has no translation. How can even the finance bill have a translation? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, human beings think with their first language. It's so unfortunate. Right. So they understand things better with their first language. Mm -hmm. If you were born talking Swahili as your mm -hmm. first language, you think with your first language, you translate. You think Swahili. You think Swahili, the then you translate to English <laughs> very fast. Eh? Yes. That's why you see some languages, like yeah. us, we are slow in thinking because us, we are, we are slow in talking. Mm -hmm. But now, <laughs> there's a, this is right. finance bill. We yeah. didn't have, the last time we were talking, uh, we said fina about financial literacy and mm -hmm. political literacy. Yes. This finance bill, mm -hmm. it's 137 pages or 136 okay. pages, about depending on yeah. what, on what uh, software you're using. Yes. But now you'll find Kenyans have not read it. Mm -hmm. Kenyans didn't read it. Yeah. Kenyans were just told by their members of parliament, pass it, it's good, it's good, let we are passing it, it's good. Is it because of ignorance or because of lack no, of we civic have a education? Problem in the, we have a problem in this country whereby our leaders, mm -hmm. when they're asking for the votes, they're so right. good in the literacy, political literacy. Right. They'll come tell you, I'll build this school, I'll build this road, it costs one billion, it costs a hundred thousand, it costs a hundred million. So mm -hmm. such projects, they are very aware before they, they, they get to the seat. Mm -hmm. When they get to the seat, that's where the problem begins. Whereby mm -hmm. they don't come back and mm -hmm. uh, assist in the political literacy. Mm -hmm. Whereby they should come with a finance bill. It, we had a lot of time. They yeah. would have come to, to our churches by then. They would have called us for barazas, for, 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 for what you call giving us the knowledge. Right. Uh, that political, we have, we have a section in the constitution whereby we have something we call public participation. participation. We, it's under we, article we, 10. We, we cannot actually. be having public uh -huh. participation uh, mm -hmm. of 20 people who have yes. been paid just to pass stuff. Right. Public participation demands that we have town hall meetings to educate yes. people. Then after that, you can ask them. You guys, in fact, you the interiors. They, they are the interiors. The, interior, the yeah. person who will be affected directly by mm -hmm. that finance bill. But yes. now that is what we are having. We are having a problem whereby Kenyans uh, don't want to educate others. The mm -hmm. leaders want all the other people to remain in the dark. So right. that all the time they can be mwashimiwa, mwashimiwa, mwashimiwa. Yes. They want to be demigods. And it's been a system that's continuous. It's been a system, yeah. And those continuous. are now, uh -huh. they, they behave like demigods, and that is a problem. Mm -hmm. But the good part right now, we're mm -hmm. having good financial literacy now, yeah. and good political literacy. Do you feel like the youth have stamped authority, and from now on moving forward, the temperature, the personality, the posture, the voice, the tone is totally going to be different? Things have changed now, totally. Uh -huh. Things have changed now. This, this country will be different because people will need to know information. Okay. What will happen next? People don't know. After the finance bill, what will happen next is accountability. People will start reading budgets and say, 
explain to us. Yes. You had a CDF of this uh, this match. Yes. You had a, a, a county development fee of this match. The county mm -hmm. was given these billions. How much was used? Those mm -hmm. are the questions that now will start. The response is on, on we us. paid debt. Yes, uh, the response is paying, we paying the debt. But the debt, the other day I was telling someone, we have had many presidents. We have had many governments. Mm -hmm. This cannot be a special government that wants to pay all the debt. Mm -hmm. Today, if uh, I'm having a loan, yes. I will not, I will not forego breakfast because mm -hmm. I'm paying your loan. Yes, I'll first eat. Then I'll, 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 I'll split it and then you'll have something. Yes. Now, let's talk about the SIVs now. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. uh, this finance bill states that uh, it brings two things on board. Mm -hmm. It brings, to, it brings uh, first let me talk about loans. Most SMEs in this country operate on loans. Mm -hmm. An SME in this country, so that it can, you can get the profit, you have to push it six to 12 months. Mm -hmm. Six to like twelve months, half a year. like half a year. That mm -hmm. is, if you go well, right. it will have given you return on investment. Six months. Right. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't go well, one year you're mm -hmm. going to get return on investment. Back to scratch. <laughs> you're going back. Uh -huh. uh, if it doesn't give you good money, you will mm -hmm. be forced to take another loan, mm -hmm. force it to work for another one year. Yes. So an SME will stand by itself after two years. And that's it from loan. That after is from loan, loan after loan, loan now. Uh -huh. Now from there, now we can start saying you can start doing your turnovers and your profits. Right. Uh, the finance bill states that it will charge you a VAT on the loan. Right. People don't really understand what is that. Yeah. If, for example, uh, you you having a loan, most SMEs survive between one hundred thousand to five hundred thousand loans. Yeah. If you're having a, a loan of one hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and uh, they tax the loan, that yes. means if the, the VAT, for example, is sixteen percent or seventeen mm -hmm. percent, mm -hmm. that means if if you take a hundred thousand, yes, that is seventeen thousand. Yeah. If you take one million, that is one seventy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what the government will do, and it's so unfortunate, you have to pay their VAT first. Right. So when you go to the bank, you'll, you'll be given 1 million Kenya shillings. Uh -huh. They will subtract the 170, mm -hmm. then they'll give you the rest. Yeah. Uh, you understand mm -hmm. that system. And that's so already a loss. That is that already you're making a loss without yeah. making the business. Yeah. So when they tax you on the capitation, mm -hmm. and then they come, they tax you also uh, yearly on VAT, like yeah. they do normally, mm -hmm. and income, whatever, you, you're done. You right. cannot be, you cannot do business. Mm -hmm. That is one of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the uh, most unfortunate things that will happen to SMEs. Yes. Number two, they will most SMEs survive on bank transfers and mobile transfers. Yes. Safaricom, thank you and so much. And they already much. increased by the other charges. That's, that's what I want to talk about. Yes. These guys increased, increased the charges. Um, yes. They said if you send a hundred shillings, I don't know, you'll, you'll, I don't know really, it but was they said it was to from twenty seven to thirty three. Now yeah, it is thirty three. Thirty three for hundred mm -hmm. shillings. You can imagine. SMEs survive on impressor transactions. Mm -hmm. People, you, if you charge them tax on Im and increase the, the rates on impressor transactions, you have killed mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. You've killed impressor totally. So okay. what will people do? People will revolt impressor, they'll go to cash. Mm. Cash is unsafe, yes. unsecure, and cash cannot operate on SMEs. Why? Right. Because you will avoid a transfer of money. If mm -hmm. I'm going to easily to buy my goods, Yes. To buy my carpets, come sell maybe at a toy market. Yes. It means I'll have to carry my cash to sleep, mm -hmm. then carry my carpets back. Right. The risk in between is too much. Mm -hmm. you can, um, a million in Kenya is uh, around one kilo. One kilo is. That is, is, is hand is, physical is cash. Hand free. Yes, that yes. Has, uh, it's one kilo. Uh -huh. uh, you can imagine uh, how From much money. From a person who's touched to a million, you know, <laughs> confessions. <laughs> you can imagine how much money you have to keep yeah. carrying around. Yes. So those are the, some of the ideologies. It's already baggage, yeah. right? I don't know whether these uh, MPs or the ones who drafted the, the finance bill had looked into that. Those yes. are some of the issues that we'll be having. Yeah. So that issue that we'll be having is on digital content creators. Eh? Mm -hmm. Those are like 80% of the youth. Right. 80% of the youth are, are employed, unemployed. Unemployed, yeah. yes. The one. For them, yeah. they depend on content creation. Online. And right. online. And like writing mm -hmm. such such issues, eh? mm. you can and now the podcasts and everything. Yeah, I think podcasts. it's because they saw there's an outburst of people creating content mm -hmm. and criticizing. So I said, "Oh, to 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 <laughs> So you can imagine uh -huh. they saw that right. the youth have decided to look for their own opportunities. Mm -hmm. This opportunity, the government didn't bring it to you. The yes. government didn't advertise it so that mm -hmm. you were employed. The government was not even involved in you buying your phone, yes. you having your data on. Mm -hmm. Why? If the government was not involved, why should they tax you? Mm -hmm. Number two, you don't need even the government to assist you when you're doing your own things, when, right. when it comes to dig digital creation. Why? Uh -huh. It's your content, it's your internet that you're using, 
Yeah. There's no way. You stay at home. Right. You, you understand where I come in. Mm -hmm. So whereby, if they cannot license you, why should they tax you? Yes. So those are some of the, 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 the issues that we are having when it comes to SMEs. Yeah. And now the challenge also will be like this. If they charge all those things that we have said, yes. this will trickle down to two things. Mm -hmm. Either people will retrench uh, yes. some, some of their workers. Reducing workforce. Straight, you reduce, you reduce, you uh -huh. reduce. Because now you have to make sure the profit that you are getting, the profit margins, are still remain the same. Right. But the income does not remain the same. Yeah. Because the government, by taxing, it doesn't add your clients. So you yeah. might remain in the same level of clientele, but now you have to reduce because the taxation is a bit high. Yeah, and so you're not making profit. You're not it making profit. The little money you're getting, yes. you're sending it back yes. to yes. your... Yes, to, to, to the government. Right. So you, you cannot tax people all, all sides. You have to agree and tax them on one side, yeah. let them breathe on the other side. Right. And uh, the, the best way to increase tax mm -hmm. is not by in increasing... The, the best way to collect more tax is not yeah. by increasing tax. Yes. It's by increasing the, the brackets. Yeah, tax bracket. Yeah, the tax bracket. And um, then now delve into like things like manufacturing so mm -hmm. that... Venture yeah. into things like manufacturing. Right. right now we want to impose tax on importations, for example, sanitary pads and mm. other yeah. things. That, that has been the vocal that hot That has cake. been the vocal of, of every <laughs> person. Eh? Yeah. But the challenge that we have is, if you're increasing the imports, the mm. taxes on the imports, right. why can't we have a manufacturing plant first? Mm. We have to do the first things first. Yes. Create a manufacturing plant here, ensure that the production of that manufacturing plant uh, goes hand in hand with the usage, yeah. the usage, the, the usage yeah. and the consumption, because right. it is about demand and supply. Yes. If you tax imports, mm -hmm. the supply will be less and yeah. the demand will be high. So yes. what will happen? Even the production that will happen in this country, mm -hmm. the prices will go high because yeah. obviously, if the demand is higher than, than the supply, yes. automatically. Uh, the, the, there's a reaction on, on, on social where somebody tried, was trying to give it a breakdown and saying, you're not supposed to tax assets, you're supposed to tax, tax only incomes. Yes. And then they threw in a story, uh, motor vehicle circulation mm. task, or mm. uh, if now, because already when you're buying a new car, there's like around five levies in between, yes. and you're departing with a lot of money. By ah. the time you're buying the number plate, which roughly I believe right now is 4,000 or 3,000 yes. shillings. Yes. So by the time you're owning this car, you're, you're already in a loss, like you're in debt crisis. Mm -hmm. And remember, our car is depreciating in value. Yes. And now, they, uh, thank God they scrapped it off. Hopefully, mm -hmm. it's not going to resurface again. <laughs> I hope but so that too. Uh, <laughs> what would have, it would have like thrown away as well insurance uh, covers into business. Uh, it would have thrown them out of business. Yes. Uh, like you've said about production, transporting raw materials from the interiors to town now, it means you have to reduce on workforce and labor yes. force, and that means you're not getting returns. You're not, not nothing. Now total unemployment. So uh, when you look at them, the things like taxing their assets, mm -hmm. you, you, you've mentioned about the motor vehicle tax. Right. They, were, they were saying they'll be taxing you with the value of your motor vehicle. It was yeah. between, I think, 50,000 and uh, 500,000. They are about it, I can't remember. Yeah. So uh, you can imagine, if you have five vehicles, you yeah. are taxed for the five vehicles. The matatu is now. The matatu is also, <laughs> they're taxed. Yes. So what will happen, fares will go high. Right. Because the end person who will have to suffer is mm -hmm. the consumer. People Absolutely. forget one thing. The supplier mm. does not suffer at mm. any one point. Because it's line. always a pushback it's on the consumer. It's always a pushback straight to the to consumer. The consumer straight yes. on to the consumer. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we are a country that consumes. We are a country that imports than we export. So yeah. we are consumers. So by yes. the end of the day, we will get hurt by this, these right. taxation issues. Mm -hmm. If we were a producing country, and you are less consumers, things would be different. Right. But now the demographics of this country, we are more of consumers. Right. If you look now also, you've talked about assets. Uh, there was also another proposal that we should, uh, people should start paying, I don't know, land rates or something. Yes. You cannot do that. Is it stamp duty? Is yes, the stamp duty. Yeah. You mm -hmm. cannot do that. Someone has been staying on that land. It's an ancestral, uh, an ancestral land. Yes. From, uh, I don't know. All their, All their lives. All their lives. How uh -huh. do you just impose something that they should, be, they should start paying? Mm. What will happen is, and now the title deeds as well. Yes. So you have to be yes. taxed for yes. it. Yes, yes. Right. So what will happen is this. Mm -hmm. Most Kenyans will not know they're supposed to be taxed. Right. So the tax will accumulate, accumulate, yes. accumulate, the stamp duty, accumulate. Mm -hmm. Then, after a few years, what the government will do, yes. it will come and say, you owe us this money. Mm -hmm. So how are you paying us? Yes. Either we take this land right. or you pay us. Homeless. So you become homeless, homeless. straight on. Uh -huh. So you'll be auctioned out of your land your ancestral land by the same government that should be supporting you. So right. those are some of the laws that I think they don't even make sense to me totally, mm -hmm. and they should be scrapped off from that. Right. Yeah, we need uh, a government that encourages people to mm -hmm. own land. 
a government that encourages people to do real estate. Yes. A government that encourages people to own cars. Yes. By the end of the day, this, all these cars are being fueled. The fuel, the tax in the, on the fuel, the, 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 we call it the levies, all yeah. of them, yes. they, can, they can generate more money. Yeah. We need people who have more ideas whereby they know if what to tax and what not to tax. Yes. Yes. There's, a, there's one of the clauses of subsections where it says uh, if you're 25 years and above, you have to be paying 300. And I think it was also blown out of proportion. <laughs> people are like, I'm unemployed. Uh -huh. I don't have a job. In fact, you're homeless. And yes. there's this friend of yours who's hosting you. Mm. But here you are, you already have a tax. <laughs> First of all, you've, you, you have no idea when you'll get the job, but you hear you already have a tax. Oh. First of all, where are you getting the money to pay it? <laughs> and I think the outrage also built up on that part as well. They were like, no, now just reject the bill. Don't even tell us <laughs> to have a conversation. Reject it and then call us for a conversation. <laughs> no, we have yeah. a problem. Uh -huh. We have a problem with our system first. Mm -hmm. Whereby you go to school for 16 years, that is age for four. Yeah. You leave school. You find your sister who had finished school three years ago is also jobless. Mm -hmm. Your brother who had finished four years ago before your sister is also jobless. Yeah. All of you are at, in the, in, in the same, at the same home. Yes. You're eating from the same pot mm -hmm. and all of you don't have anything to do. Right. So what happens if all of you are taxed, mm -hmm. that homestead already will be having a, 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 a tax of 900 shillings and above. <laughs> tax debt. Already. <laughs> now you, you guys will be on debt. Yes. Surviving and mm -hmm. living in this country, you'll be living you on You know debt. that the day in Kipatakazi, in Talipa. Ni kona deni. Eh, hey, hii deni ni kama ile ya help, lazima na kuja lipa. Yeah. Nada siyelewi. Uh -huh. Those are some of the challenges. And that's so annoying to the local monarchy. Definitely is annoying. Very because, annoying and frustrating. Uh, the government does not make you get the job after uh -huh. you've graduated. All of a sudden now they're taxing you. It's called, now we, we were calling it the other day, unemployment tax. Unemployment, Already yes. they are, they're charging you unemployment, <laughs> unemployment tax. tax. How do you even survive? It's like for you just being there already. You already a bill. You owe us money. Yeah. <laughs> you wake up every day, you're a yeah. bill. So mm. things cannot go like that. And uh, right. we need people who can think beyond what we see. Mm. We need people who can bring, bring investors to this country. This country yeah. has so much minerals. Yes. So much. Bring them. Yeah. Let but them invest. Charge them. Yes. But also why, why the concern mm. on why do we prefer to import more than, than what produce. we manufacture and produce here? There's somebody, there's one of the guests here who said, in fact, most Kenyans don't even trust most locally manufactured goods. Mm -hmm. there's a, he gave an example of somebody who would prefer to buy a casket to bury their loved one, a casket from South Africa mm. or even Italy mm -hmm. that's in gold. And you know, made of he mentioned several types of wood. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but why? Why can't we just buy our own? Buy Kenya, build Kenya. What happens? Buy Kenya is a bit expensive than importation than, For the, real? than importing. Yes. If you if you look at things manufactured locally, mm -hmm. you'll get that the China the China manufactured uh, it items are cheaper. Mm -hmm. But why is that so? It is so because the production cost is very high. Kenya in Kenya electricity is very high. Labor is very high. Uh, what do you call this? The capitation on raw materials is very high. Those yeah. are the challenges that you're having. Mm -hmm. If the government would give incentives on that, all things made in Kenya would be would go to a lower a lower fee or a lower figure. Then the government should also now improve on quality. Cabs, that's their work. They should improve on on quality. Yeah. I don't even think, as per now, if you're going to buy a karai or you're going to buy a cup, Kenyans look at where it is made in. Yes. They just buy. As long mm -hmm. as it is, it is good looking, as long as it is appealing to the eye, they buy. Yeah. And Kenyans have learned the art of buying cheaper. That's why yes. uh, you go buy electronics imported from China. Yes. You buy electronics imported, uh, made in Kenya. Yes. Made in Kenya is expensive than China mm. because of what I've, I've explained to you. Shocking. So it uh -huh. would reduce such costs. Right. And then but now the all the prices task, on back. Uh, the tax that has been in put in place, I think that's when you know, Kenyans are like, nope. No, if you now you have enough production of, yeah. of, of things in the country locally, mm -hmm. now even you can tax, you can mm -hmm. even overtax the importations right. because people have an option. Because there's surplus. Yes, there's, there's surplus, surplus and people have yeah. an option. So right. in case you want to import your own, uh, your own furniture, for example, mm -hmm. and there's surplus enough in this country, that yeah. is luxury. Yeah. No one has a problem. If you're doing luxury spending, spend enough tax for luxury. Yeah. It's like that when, if you want to fly, for example, yeah. you have a choice of KQ, you right. have a choice of a jumbo jet, all of you are going to Mombasa. Chartered plane. Yes, everyone <laughs> is going to, uh, there's a chartered plane. Everyone is going to Mombasa, yeah. same destination. Right. People will choose yeah. KQ, others will choose Jabo Jet. Yeah. It depends. Right. But now at least they'll have options. options the only yes. problem with this country, people have no options. Mm. Yes. And bring now they're pinning us down mm. to a rabbit hole. Mm. Bring, bring, bring manufactured products here. Mm -hmm. Give them 
or manufacture them here. That is what I mean. Mm -hmm. Bring them and give them a good price. Right. Let the, the, the Kenyans decide. Right. Yes, that is the only way. But so far, mm -hmm. not yet. I'm, I'm being told we wrap it up because we're just about like <laughs> two minutes to 10 a.m. Okay. So maybe I'd like you to give uh, recommendations for young people. Now onwards moving forward, how should they be involved in terms of matters governance and issuing their voice? Like ensure that you, 2027, because there's somebody who said the person will become president in 2027, mm -hmm. they have a lot to do. And they're trusting that it's not the current one, but we are praying for all the best <laughs> as well. <laughs> so so uh, for, from now on, moving forward, yes. what should be the direction for young people let that me you tell can give your people, social media? Let, yeah. let, let me commend the, the youth because of coming out and airing out their voices and their issues. That is bold of us. That is bold of you. At least people now understand the problems that we are having. But now there are two things. Uh, let it not end on finance bill. The finance bill, whether it passes or it fails, it is not the most important thing. So let us not lose the sight of a deer because of a squirrel. That is yeah. a dashing squirrel. Yes. The, the finance bill may be a dashing squirrel, but let us face and, and look for the, the deer itself. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, two things that will happen. Yeah. Political wars are how you have to get political solutions. Right. So we need a political process. A political process is, do you have an ID? Mm -hmm. You have a voter's card. That is a political process. The voter's card is your gun. The voter's card is what can help you and assist you in your future. Right. Then after that, we can have a political process. Me mm -hmm. personally, me, I have a political party. Yeah. So that is not even the process. But we shall reach there as we go. Make sure that you have your ID. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your, you, you your voters. That is, that is it. Yeah, because we're listening to stories, the parties are attacking. No worries. We go at a party, we go at a party, I told yeah. you last time when I was here, I was working on the same. Yeah. I think I had seen it. All right. Uh, yeah, so that is what, keep pushing. Uh -huh. Don't lose hope, young men and mm -hmm. young women. Mm -hmm. Things will be fine. Okay, your yeah. social media, very My fast. social media is Honorable David Mwangi. Uh -huh. TikTok, Honorable David Mwangi, Facebook. Honorable David Mwangi, Instagram. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. I think it's because of time, but yeah, we'll no invite problem. you over and over yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so someone, thank you so much for watching from exactly 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's been an intensive and comprehensive day. Thank you so much for interacting with us. We'll definitely see you tomorrow right here, bright and early on hashtag why in the morning.